What's up y'all, you checking out the Frequent Flyer and as you can see, we have a package from my favorite carrier, DHL. We got the blue alien on deck. Let's get right in here, see what this is. We got a package inside of a package again. I should be used to this by now because that's how DHL does it. Here. That should be enough, enough to get us in. Okay, so this is the King Kong Flying Egg. Fly Egg, it says. This is the 130. So let's get this open. See what we have inside. Here's another flying egg 130, <laughs> but it's not like this one. This is the King Kong one. This thing is a brushless quad, and wow, we have a, a package of props here. We have some prop guards here and a bunch of screws. We have a bunch of screws with that as well, but I'm looking at these motors on here. These motors are definitely different. Check these motors out, y'all. It got silver motors on it, so this is pretty awesome. Reminds me of the motors that Emacs have. I don't know if, I don't think they're the same. They can't be the same ones. Actually, they're taller than these Emacs motors. So they definitely are different. I think these motors are 1105 motors. So that's awesome. What are these? So these look like motor mounts here, motor protectors. I guess that's an option to use those. We have a battery. They give us a battery. 350 milliamp hour, 35C, 7.4 volt battery. Just like the King Kong 110 GT. We get two rubber bands there and a prop removal tool. And we got a chart right there for the VTX signals and all. We get one of these USB charging cables there micro USB so King Kong still giving us a whole bunch of stuff with these things and I think that's awesome so this is the instructions manual there and they give us this nice case here let's throw everything back in the case there so we can have a look at this so this is a 130 wow it seems small to be a 130 though but I guess you can say it is a 130 Let's look at my Tarot 130. This is my Tarot 130. And yep, it's a 130, but this is a lot lighter than my Tarot 130 feels like. Actually, let's get this thing on a scale and see how much this thing weighs in the form that it's in now. We're going to check that. And we are weighing it in grams. So let's see. Wow, it has a little pad under here for the motors, so they're really improving this thing. There's a buzzer there. Check it out, y'all. Little buzzer there. Actually, let me turn my light on. So we have the light on now, so we can see things a little better. Check it out. We got a buzzer under there. We got this cushion right here for the battery. We got this rubber band still. And there's a new board. They're using the new board for this. It looks like a 4-in-1 uh, ESC there. And there's an F3 board on here. As you can see, it looks like the mounting holes are 20 by 20 millimeters. So I'm really excited about that to finally have a buzzer with this thing. So it looks like this camera is adjustable. We can adjust the pitch on the camera now. So this thing is pretty awesome looking. This right here seems to be aluminum. Two aluminum plates right here on the side. Aluminum and carbon fiber. Very nice look. Now, oh, I'm so, so busy looking at this thing. We didn't check out the weight. Let's look at it. So this weighs 71.8 grams. As opposed to the Tarot 130. 102.8 grams. 
102.8 grams with this one. So this was like 30 grams lighter. 71.7. It was 71.8 at first. So wait a minute. No props are on it. Let's throw the props on. I got my King Kong 110 GT props over here. They're the same props though. So I'm just going to throw these props on here. And see how much this thing weighs. So without the battery, this thing is going to weigh 78.9 grams. Pretty nice. So you guys can definitely expect some flight footage of this coming up real soon. Because I'm anxious to fly this thing. Let's tear this off. And ultimately, you guys can expect maybe a quick review or a full review of this thing. So actually, let's put the props on this so we can see how it looks with the props on it. So I have a few prop choices, actually. These props here are King Kong props, but these came from RJX Hobbies. And I got these from Amazon, but they're the exact same ones that the King Kongs are. And these here are actually Wildcara 110 Rodeo props. So they're almost... The same too, essentially the same prop, same pitch and everything, same width on the blade. So these are basically the same props. They might have different properties though. I'm thinking maybe because of the material that they're made out of. Let's see. That's 1.2 grams on that one. This one is 1.3 grams on this one. So, basically the same. But let's get some props on this. I think I'm going to put the original props on it. Yeah, I'll just throw some original props on it. I think I'll go with the white. Okay, so we got the props on this thing. And this thing is looking really awesome. Love the look of this thing. Let's check it out next to the 110 GT. And this right here is my current favorite. This thing is an absolute beast. This is how it compares to this. It's got a wider wingspan now. So I'm expecting this to fly a little better. I don't know how, how much the King Kong weighs. I don't know how much the 110 weighs. Let's weigh the 110. Sixty-six point six grams. Wow, scary. Six six six. <laughs> that thing is a beast though let's see so the King Kong 110 GT is probably gonna fly a little faster than this one is my guess but I don't know how powerful these motors are as compared to those motors there but these motors on this one here are very beefy compared to the normal well they're 1105 and usually these little micro quads have 1104 and I'm guessing that's just to push these slightly larger props here that is pushing and so I don't know what's the KV on these motors here or the specs or anything but they look like they're 1105 or maybe even 1106 I'm not sure what does that say on the front? It says King Kong RC on the front of that camera there. On the bottom of it. And so this thing is a really nice looker. So you guys can expect some flight footage of this thing coming up real soon. I know you guys were wondering uh, what happened to the videos. The flow of my videos have slowed down. Well, the last couple of days it's been very rainy. It's pouring down now. As a matter of fact, it looks like it might have stopped, so I might be able to get a night flight of this thing in. So, prepare for that. If it happens, thanks for watching.